It's Easter Sunday, a perfect time for a little reflection. I sat down with two of my favorite ministers to discuss what this day means in today's political climate. Joining me now, Dr. Barry Black, 62nd chaplain of the U.S. Senate and a retired U.S. Navy Rear Admiral, and the Most Reverend Michael Curry, presiding bishop at the Episcopal Church. Thank you both, as always, for coming to the Sunday show. Well, gentlemen, the world is a mess. A former president has been indicted. Gun violence is the leading cause of death for children. And racism, sexism, homophobia are the excuses extremists are using to disenfranchise millions. On this Easter Sunday, what message do we need to hear today? Chaplain Black, let's start with you. Well, Easter says to me that Jesus is not just somebody I read about, I can read about in a history book, it says to me that he is a living presence, that I can know him experientially. And in the midst of despair, in the midst of setbacks, in the midst, midst of disappointments, Easter reminds me that perhaps the most consequential figure in human history he was resurrected. He came forth from the grave of victor from the dark domain. And so I am vivified, not just because I can know about him, but because I can know him experientially. Mm -hmm. Bishop Curry, what mm -hmm. about you? Uh, similarly, um, um, Dr. Black is always right on target. And, you know, one of the things that I think is helpful to remember is that Easter disconnected from Good Friday and Holy Week just becomes about uh, jelly beans and the Easter Bunny. I happen to love jelly beans, but that's not the Easter message. It's just something nice and fun. The truth is, um, uh, John's gospel, for example, introduces Jesus with the words, and the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness cannot overcome it. The, the reality is that, that Jesus uh, confronted the darkness of life uh, to the point of death and was willing to do so. And as he confronted it in Holy Week, the, from Palm Sunday until Good Friday, most of Jesus' teachings about love are during that week. And he's talking about love, a new commandment I give you, that you love one another. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. Greater love has no one than this, but that they give up their life for their friends. All of that is during Holy Week for the most time, no, for the most part. And it's, it's the confrontation of love in the face of empires of darkness. The Roman Empire was a brutal empire and sought to destroy him and literally killed him. Um, and yet on the third day, as Dr. Black said, he rose from the dead, which I think is the Bible's way of saying the light shines in the darkness, but the darkness has not, cannot, and will not overcome it. And if we know that, we can make it in our time. But, you know, gentlemen, I, 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 hear, I hear everything that you're saying, and it's inspirational, but I can't help but think about what you would say to those folks who use religion to marginalize people, to use it as a shield, to make people feel less than, to make people feel using religion in a, in a way that is contrary to what you were just saying. Well, Aristotle says there is something. Oh, I I'm, I'm just, we got seven Jump minutes, so. <laughs> Aristotle, <laughs> well, yeah. Aristotle says there is something self-validating about truth. And he says it is easier to defend truth. That is why um, rhetoricians were trained, because they had to defend themselves in court. And when you have the truth, it will eventually uh, prevail. Uh, truth crushed to earth will rise again. Martin King was fond of saying, no lie can live forever. So I think that if, if we continue to tell the truth, that is going to really make the difference in, in the lives of people, because truth is transformative. And Romans 10, 17 says, so then faith comes by hearing 
and hearing by the word of God. And uh, let me tell you, John 17, 17 says, thy word is truth. So when that truth hits you, it's vivifies, it's transformative. Keep telling the truth. You know, that's something Amen you do. Yeah, I mean, that's something Chaplain Black does every day in that opening prayer to the Senate. And, you know, as someone watching from afar, I wonder, why don't they listen to him? Uh, but Bishop, B Bishop Curry, close this out. Um, in the thinking, why don't people follow the, the mantra of love that you were talking about that we see in this Holy Week? Well, the truth is, uh, when the, 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 the king of love, as the old hymn says, proclaimed that message of love during Holy Week, um, there were some folk um, who, who didn't buy into it. Pontius Pilate, the governor of Rome, didn't buy into it and ordered his execution. So that's just the reality. The struggle, however, for good and for love and compassion and justice, uh, that struggle continues, and we must continue the struggle um, so, so that children don't go to bed hungry, so that children Children are not gunned down uh, so that the dream and hope that Dr. Black was talking about in his prayer, so that that becomes real. Years ago, uh, in the 1980s, I heard Archbishop Desmond Tutu speak. It was the first time I met him and heard him. This is back in the 80s. This was during the state emergencies. This was while folk were being um, disappearing in the night. And during that time, he stood up and he said, ended his speech by saying, I believe that one day my beloved South Africa will be free. I believe it will be free free for all of God's children, for her black children, her white children, her brown children, her colored children, her Asian children, all Muslim, Christian, all of her children. I believe it because I believe that God raised Jesus from the dead and nothing can stop God. And my Bible says God is love. Hallelujah. <laughs> Gentlemen, mm. you, you, everybody knows who's seen you on, on my program know you can keep going and we don't ha we are out of time as always gentlemen you honor me with your presence dr barry black most reverend michael curry thank you and happy easter